any person who has heart attack should be able to reach those centers within let's say one hour to six hours from his chest pain. So let's first understand what actually is ST elevation MI or myocardial infarction. So heart is a muscle, is a very hard working muscle, most hard working muscle of our body which pumps blood and supplies blood to most of the organs of the body. But being a muscle, it requires a blood supply of its own. So heart has got coronary arteries that supplies blood to heart muscle to make it function effectively. Whenever that coronary artery gets blocked acutely, suddenly by thrombus, then it leads to infarction or death of that region of heart muscle which is being supplied by that artery. So the entire impetus of coronary artery acute myocardial infarction program is to open up that heart artery as fast as possible. You can essentially open it up by two methods, by medicines, which is called as thrombolytic therapy, and by angioplasty, which is called as primary angioplasty. The point is that even with the best of thrombolytic therapy, the success of opening up that artery is anything between 50 to 70 to 80 percent. While as the success rate of primary angioplasty are nearly 100%, 90% plus nearly 100%. So globally, worldwide in developed countries, primary angioplasty is a standard of care. You need to have angioplasty centers all across your country, all across the regions, and which is not possible because of geographic constraints, financial constraints, and resource limitations. So pharmacoinvasive therapy, and that's been coming, is that whenever a patient reaches a place where primary angioplasty is not available, then you give that patient thrombolytic therapy. Now in 50% of the patients, you will be able to reach some sort of reconfusion. In the other 50 also, even if it doesn't completely open up the artery, it might start some blood flow in that coronary artery, a trickle of blood flow to prevent the complete complete infarction or death of the heart muscle and then after thrombolysis you shift the patient to a center higher center which can perform angiography and if possible if the artery is still blocked angioplasty within the next 24 hours So pharmacoinvasive means combination of pharmacology and invasive therapy for management of myocardial infarction. You thrombolyze the patient first, establish some flow in the blood vessels, then shift the patient to a center where, prime, where angioplasty can be done. Essentially, you do an angiography, see if the heart artery is opened up, then you don't do anything. And if the thrombolysis has not been successful, the artery has not been opened up as yet, or partially opened up, then you open it up by angioplasty within 24 hours of uh, thrombolysis. <laughs>